My name is Andrew Wilson. I'm here from the Pennant Hills District Civic Trust. The Pennant Hills Trust is interviewing all of the candidates for Hornsby Council mayoral candidates and Ward B candidates. The Pennant Hills Trust is not in any way politically affiliated or aligned. We aim to give all the candidates a fair go to allow voters to make an informed choice. We are unashamedly local. That is, we live in Pennant Hills, West Pennant Hills, Thornlea. We know that this is the best place in Australia to live. We want to keep it that way and make it even better. It is in that context that I introduce Sally Ann McClellan. Hi, Sally Ann. Hello, it's good to be here. Okay, a few questions and then I'll let you give your campaign. Um, first, the Pennant Hills Master Plan. We see that some development in Pennant Hills and around us will be inevitable. However, we'd like to see that happen in a planned, well-considered way that includes input from the local community. We call that the Pennant Hills Master Plan. Can you please give us your comments on that and how, if you're elected a Ward B candidate, you could help us achieve that? Thanks, Andrew. The Pennant Hills Master Plan is something that was spoken about uh, at the beginning of uh, my first term in 2021. But for me, coming into this next term, it will be a priority. It will be an opportunity for us to work directly with local businesses, service providers and residents to make sure that the plan that we put together from council and councillors and residents is exactly what we need for now and moving into the future. It needs to be in our master planning budget and it needs to have work commenced, I believe, in this first year in some substantial way. All right, thank you very much. Uh, Wesley Sports Facilities, um, most of us are aware that some Matt Keane got some money to buy that land from the Water Board at the time, uh, also allocated some money to build sports facilities, uh, mountain bike tracks and uh, other public facilities. Uh, a fair bit of work has been done and has, money has been spent, uh, but I understand the Minns government has attempted to claw back, I think it's $36 million of that money. What is your view on the Wesley Sports Facilities? Well, it's essential. Uh, there's, there's no discussion around that. We need to find the funds to deliver Wesley Park. Of course, right now we're in a, a waiting game between council and state government. We have put back to state government a suggestion of where we stand and what we would like to do. So really until we return to council after September 14, we won't have a solid answer as to where the government stands with our uh, requests that we've made just recently. On a personal level, I know that recreation and sporting facilities are so desperately needed in this area. Our ovals and, and playgrounds are overused already. We're talking about master plans of housing right through Hornsby, particularly the Hornsby Centre. And if we don't have the matching play and recreation to support the people that are going to be living in this additional housing, we're going to have a problem. So it, for me, it's twofold as well. We've got a, a state government that has uh, put forward a revised version of our Hornsby Master Plan, but it has no allowance for funding uh, infrastructure in any way. And so we need to work very closely together as a council team with our staff, with our residents, and attempt to get that funding back if we don't get that funding back, we need to revisit our budget and we need to figure out what is another way for us to return to Wesley Park and make sure that that recreation facility is on track for delivery. Okay, you've had one term on Hornsby Council and you're applying for a second. What would you like your legacy to be seen as for your terms on council? I'll leave the mic to you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Andrew. Look, when I came to Hornsby Council back in 2021, I was coming off six months of fire recovery, consulting with Resilience New South Wales. I had three years of Director of Development of Women's Community Shelters and about four years of uh, being the chair of Hornsby Kuringai Women's Shelter. And at the same time, I was producing one of the largest mixed media art retreats in the USA gathering over 300 women in two destinations. And all of these roles are about 
good financial planning, business management, and importantly, community and connection. And that is my gift. My gift is talking to community, connecting in with community, and my legacy, if we speak to that, I very much want us to have a performing arts space. It needs to be on the budget. It needs to be in the Hornsby Town Centre. And in the meantime, we need to look at refreshing and renewing some of the facilities that we already have, like our Pennant Hills Community Hall, which could have some money spent on it to upgrade it and make it more usable for larger groups. The other side of the coin is all the services and charities that work within our LGA to serve the people that live here, our vulnerable, our women, our children and our youth. We must make sure that there is a place for all of those charities within our Hornsby LGA. I spend a great deal of time within those charities. I spend a great deal of time within our multicultural um, groups and I believe that my legacy is truly just about connection and community and making sure that we're living and working in an environment that we all love.